My grandma didn't have a lot of money, so this was a go-to for her. I'm going to show you this recipe for the holidays because it's easy and free. Come on. I just put a cup and a half of rice in the pot, followed by three cups of water. Now let's add a pinch of salt. Stir the rice a little bit, and we're going to wait till it comes to a boil. Rice ain't hard. It just look hard. You know what I mean? As soon as it starts boiling, go ahead and turn your pot on low. Put your lid on the pot. Sit back for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to toss mine around for another two minutes just so I can make sure all the water gets out of here, all right? Put your seat belts on. We're getting fired. We're about to add five cups of milk right Go there. ahead and turn your pot on medium. We're trying to get it back to a mini boil, and then we're going to add our condensed milk. Once you add your two milks, we're going to cook this for another about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're just going to keep stirring because you do not want to scorch this milk at all. Now we're going to add two cups of sugar, all right? Give it a good stir, and we're going to cook it another five to 10 minutes. Pay attention. I don't want to lose you, Tom Hanks, Castaway. I want you here. I don't want you lost at sea. Pay attention. I used to see my grandma put some eggs in a bowl, right? She would take a little bit of the rice, put and it, she would put it in there with the Then she's going to scramble it real quick. And then you're going to just add it to the pot. Now we're going to add some vanilla. Pour a little butter. Straight. Grandma adds some cinnamon. And she adds a little nutmeg. Now you're going to pour it in the baking dish just like this. Uh -huh. Then top this with a little bit of cinnamon. Put this in the refrigerator or sit it out for about three hours. I promise you it's going to lock I up. I might give you a part two so you can see the finished product. Or you can just believe me. But rice pudding for the win.